hello friends welcome back to another new video here in this video uh, we will study about component of tubewell what are the uh, different components of a uh, tubewell okay so uh, let's start the video component of tubewell uh, before uh, this video we already study about the tubewell what are what is tubewell what is uh, underground water what what is aquifer and types of aquifer okay and uh, after that uh, we are going to study about the components of tubewell so first thing we have to know about the uh, tubewell and uh, aquifer okay so i have op already uploaded uh, video related to aquifer and um, the concept about the tubewell okay and types of tubewell so i strongly recommend uh, please uh, you have to see first video related to tubewell uh, then you can uh, see the components of tubewell then you can easily understand okay for this uh, i will keep the link of those video in description box so that you can um, visit those video too okay so uh, let's see about the component of tubewell and if you are new to the channel please do subscribe the channel and like the video okay and press the bell icon uh, so you will get uh, regular updates okay so uh, please do subscribe the channel so uh, let's see components of tubewell basically we have the uh, different components of tubewell uh, you can see uh, in this figure okay uh, i have made this figure uh, very clearly and I saw different components such as uh, GI pipe. Okay, so the components of tubewell are uh, GI pipe, uh, platform, borehole, PVC strainer, sand strap, sand strap, earth fill. Okay, so basically these are the components of uh, tubewell. And uh, you, you have to also study uh, uh, in component of tubewell. And first one is uh, temperature detector oil caging and screening what are uh, these three we will also discuss about these three and first uh, let's see uh, some concept about the tubewell a type of uh, water well in or which uh, in uh, which a long 100 to 200 mm wide stainless steel tube so uh, this in this tubewell uh, we use a stainless steel of uh, length 100 to 200 mm wide our pipe is uh, bored into an underground aquifer uh, we already studied about the different types of aquifer and construction of uh, aquifer okay uh, in those video we already discussed about the uh, tubewell okay and uh, this the water uh, well in which a long 100 to 200 mm wide stainless steel is used for the making a uh, tubewell during the construction okay and uh, stainless steel tube or pipe is bored into an underground aquifer and uh, this stainless steel is bored into the underground aquifer when uh, during the boring uh, we found different types of rocks such as uh, hard rock software different types of uh, rock during the construction of tubewell okay and uh, lower end is uh, filtered with a standard and pump lift lifts water for irrigation so you can uh, see here you can see here here in the uh, lower end of a uh, tubewell the stainer pvc stainer is uh, fixed okay uh, in the lower end so uh, lower end is fitted with the stainer and pump leaves water for the irrigation and uh, then for the purpose of irrigation uh, we uh, lift the water from the underground water okay uh, and uh, we can easily do irrigation okay is our need the required depth of well depends upon depth of water table uh, and the depth of tube well mainly depends upon the uh, depth of water table when the water table is at great depth uh, we have to dug for the great depth and when the uh, water table is in a shallow depth 
then we uh, can easily construct tubule okay so so basically uh, the tubule depth depends upon the uh, water table depth of water table okay so you can understand from the uh, figure as well here you can see uh, this is the uh, hand pump okay so this is in the upper part this is the simply hand pump hand uh, pump and it is, it is connected with the uh, gi pipe okay and that is galvanized iron pipe here and here is provided platform you can see uh, this is the platform before the gi pipe uh, we have provided a platform on which the hand pipe is located and uh, you can see here this is the pvc pipe okay here is provided pvc pipe uh, but in the upper uh, part we have to provide gi pipe okay for the betterment of water quality and for the uh, stability of this and here you can see uh, 38 mm pvc pipe here in this uh, for the tubule we use 30 mm 38 mm pvc type pvc pipe and uh, you can see here this is the borehole okay this is borehole and this is uh, pvc pipe okay and in upper layer this is gi pipe and this is platform and um, besides uh, this pipe uh, there is a earth fill okay this is the earth fill and here you can see uh, in the lower portion of tubule we, we, are, we have to provide an strainer okay you can see here this is the pvc strainer okay in lower part and uh, there is also provided a sand trap okay uh, this sand trap helps to increase the quality of water by trapping the sand present underground when there is a large amount of sand present in underground then it may becomes uh, to the surface of ground that's why we use sand trap okay so uh, here pvc strainer as sand trap is uh, provided okay so these are the uh, main components of tubule now uh, let's see also this uh, temperature reservoir or a small reservoir at outlet of tube to distribution of water to the population is called uh, temperature reservoir i just uh, tell you you can write in okay so uh, second one is caging and and pvc pipe i already shown you uh, this is the pvc pipe provided over here uh, against uh, collapse Uh, pvc and caging and pvc pipe to support uh, external uh, ex external surface of borehole so uh, the caging to support uh, external surface of borehole against the collapse this is cabin caging this is also called uh, pvc pipe and third one is a screening um, a screening is provided for the purpose of uh, preventing from the silt particle when there is a percent of silt particle uh, we have to prevent from this silt particle okay and that's why we use a screening and the uh, screening main purpose for a screening is to prevent uh, from the silt particle okay so these all are the components of uh, tubel okay so i hope uh, you have understood you have to understand uh, these all components of tubule individually okay and you can also write in the form of uh, these all components uh, one to one so this is all about the uh, components of tubule okay so thank you very much see you in next video i hope you guys understand well okay so thank you very much if you are new to the channel please do subscribe the channel like the video and press the bell icon so you will get a regular update thank you very much see you in next video and you can visit for different video related to our civil engineering and i will keep 
different video related to our irrigation the engineering in the description box okay so you can visit uh, from there okay so thank you very much see you in next video after that we will study about the design uh, consideration of shallow deep well and uh, types of selection of uh, pump pumps okay so uh, in this next video we will study about this video so please uh, stay tuned to the channel so uh, you can see different video related to our topics thank you very much see you in next video